Welcome back. And if you're new here, I am able, and so are you. I have here another climb tool. Some of you know that I'm trying to find um, a multi-tool stripping tool. Um, and the problem I've been having is these tools have been very stiff. So I went to spring load it to see if I can find the tool for me. Okay, so we're gonna start out here with the uh, part number J two zero six eight C S E N. That's an interesting part number, to say the least. But a very simple name, all-purpose pliers. We're going to be able to cut 8 to 16 American gauge and uh, 10 to 18 on the stranded. So 8 to 16 on the solid, 10 to 18 on the stranded. And your screws, typical screws. Uh, made in the USA. Take a look at the back here. Uh, you guys can pause this and read it, or you can screenshot it, read it at your own leisure. Uh, but this is basically a needle nose multi plier. So at first glance, you know, it's a, a okay looking tool. Um, it is a professional tool, so it's not going uh, for the good looks. It's going for the performance. In my hand, it feels good. You know, I like to grab a tool. It feels good. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I do want to point out something. I have not used this tool yet. Um, I did pull it out and cut a few uh, of these little copper wires, but I haven't used this tool. Um, I've wiped it down. Um, I want to see if I can catch this. Um, you see that? Right here. Those are marks as if this was being pounded on or it was being used as a hammer to pound on something. And that came out of the package like that. Can you see that? You see all of those marks? And anybody knows you don't use this as a hammer. If you're gonna use this tool as a hammer, you should use either of these ends. Because if you mess up that pivot, if you mess up that, you're going to seize up these pliers. And that's exactly what is going on. See, maybe you can get a, look at that. That's not supposed to be out of the package. The package was closed. It, I, I, the package was not, it didn't seem to be tampered with. And that's what I got. See, yeah, see that? And so these are stiff and they're supposed to be spring loaded. They'll come out about right there but they're supposed to come out like this. And if I pull it out, it'll stay out. So these are seized because somebody was banging on these. I don't know if they was trying to get that rivet in there. Maybe it didn't go all the way in and the machining and somebody just decided to tap it the rest of the way in. Um, that's very disappointing. 
And so I still have to push these out in order to use them. So the spring is useless. Now, granted, these may work their way to be, you know, they may work their way out, but um, if you take these Milwaukee seven and ones, they extend out and they can't go any further. They extend all the way out. That's the way a spring loaded should be. See how that's just effortless. I just let it open and it's, I think that's how it's supposed to be. I'm sure anybody would agree. That's a spring loaded tool there. So, um, that's disappointing. So, unfortunately, these will have to go back because this is unacceptable. Um, and I, I hope someone can put down in the comments why that is. Is that usual for Klein? There's no way um, this should be like that. But let's let's... Let's look at it anyway. I have them, so let's look at them. All right, let's start from the top. You got your needle nose. Nice. I like the machining. They, they rub these down pretty good. On the inside here, let's see if we can make this up. You see how those are at a slant? And these are not very uh, grabby at all. It's very, um, you can tell these are not to twist. These are not meant to twist wires, grab on the wires and twist them. It's just not meant for that. Um, yeah, there's a better look. See those? And they're just going one way. Um, so yeah. And then you come down and you have your, let's see here, your holes for your, your holes for your, uh, there you go, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then here is your stranded. And that's your solid. And then here we have uh, your cutting blades. And uh, they're touting that these are, these blades are kind of for your harder metal. Um, and so we know kind of how these work. Those are kind of almost your horizontals. Yeah. You hear that spring a little bit. Um, here you have your Klein tools. You have your linesman on the pole there. Your part number established in 1857. Yep. Made in the USA. H3. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if that's the metal that they made this out of. Maybe that's the hardness. There's your screws. 1632s, 832s, and uh, yeah, guys, um, that that's very disappointing. Um, the markings on here, and I can only imagine that that's why these are not working properly. I could be wrong. They could all be like this, but a spring-loaded tool, in my opinion, shouldn't stick like that. Even out of the box or out of the package, it just it just shouldn't. And so, <sighs> womp womp womp. You know that's how I feel. Client tools. I was excited about these um, because 
Um, the other client tools were not spring loaded and they were just so stiff I couldn't use them. And uh, again, because I, I don't use these every day, I only use these on the weekends or every couple of weekends. Um, and so they need to already be broken in for me. Uh, but again, you know, a professional will break these in in, in a week or, or less. Um, let's see if we can see. What's that there? We got your warnings. Always wear approved. I always wear approved eye protection. Not insulated. Will not protect against electric shock. So these are not insulated, but these are, you know, they're they're not. They're in between hard and soft. You know, I couldn't say they're soft. And I couldn't say they're hard. They're right in between. Kind of funny. Uh, the interesting uh, colors they use. You know, some manufacturers stay with a certain color. And Klein doesn't seem to do that. Klein will have blue handles. Uh, I've seen them have a beautiful burgundy. I've seen them. I've seen them have different colors. Red orange this yellow and black they don't seem to stay uh with a certain color like milwaukee will stay with a certain color you know when you see that red you know that's milwaukee and i know a lot of these companies have those colors on lock you know and so that's why um you know like dewalt has this this yellow and black you know, but here we are, yellow and black. Hey, I don't know. But anyway, guys, um, that's really all I got to say about this. I did want to want to cut. I don't know if you guys remember the um, the cobalt multi tool that was like this. It was just like this, but it it had a um, a uh, crimper, and that thing that thing cut like butter that thing was beautiful in terms of its performance but it wasn't <laughs> that beautiful in looks uh, i notice this is you're going to be you're more of a smash type of cut and not a um not like a sheer but you still kind of get that snap um sometimes i have to pull it like once i pop it i gotta pull it a little it's not completely cut um and that's not like the shears on the cobalt was just they was just it was it was beautiful and so um these are okay they're not the best and i can't believe i'm saying that about klein yeah, see, I got to pull that off. Um, so, guys, that's about all I got. But I I think this tool could be better. I really do. Um, this is an issue. I don't know if all of these are like this. That's an issue for spring-loaded. That just for Klein, no. No, Klein's got to be better than that. They've got to do better than that, in my opinion. And those marks are really discouraging. And if this was done at the factory, I don't understand how this got past quality control. I don't know how that got past quality control. I, I, I don't even know why they just didn't run it back over, you know, buff those out. But they didn't. And it got past quality control. That's that's not good, guys. That's just not good. So, with that being said, um, I really thank you guys for listening to me. <laughs> I did have a bit of a rant there. Um, you know, should I take this tool back, exchange it? I would be 
extremely upset if I exchanged this tool and got another one that that was like this. Because, guys, I, one thing I hate to do, I hate to buy tools and take them back. I really hate that. And I don't, I don't think I'm being too judgmental on this tool because this tool was $45. This tool was $45. And I know it's not a, it's, it's not a K-nip. I know that. K-nips are probably, this probably would have been 60 bucks, $15 more, $20 more. I don't know. Well, guys, thank you again for listening. I appreciate it. Um, this will go back, and I don't know if I'm going to exchange it for the same thing. The only other step I have to go, if I don't go with Klein, is go with K-Nips. I really wanted to get Klein's, but this is discouraging. So, with that being said, I don't want to hold you guys any longer. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Please comment um, if you know anything about this. Is this usual, unusual? Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm a small channel. I would appreciate the love. Just subscribe. Uh, doesn't cost anything. Again, thanks again. And remember to thumbs up.